In this video, I want to show you how to rotate a figure around a fixed point. Make a figure we want to rotate and then a, pick a center of rotation. Okay, so just kind of pick it somewhere in the center of your paper. And I'll just label this P for point of rotation. And now, over here, we can really make any any shape we want to rotate. Okay, why don't we do like a letter? Those are fun ones. So let's do the letter. Pick a letter. H. H. So we have the letter H, and let's rotate. Our H, how many degrees counterclockwise? 50. 100 degrees? Let's do 100 degrees. Counterclockwise around point P. So let's just focus one point at a time on the rotation. So let's pick this point right here to rotate. This could get a little, a little messy. I'm going to rotate this first one using a uh, pencil. So the first thing you have to do is go ahead and draw a ray from the point to the, to the point you're rotating. So that's our first thing. The second thing we want to do is draw a 100 degree angle with P as our vertex. Okay. So we'll use a protractor for this. We place the center on the center, and then we place one of the rays of our angle at the zero mark. Okay. Then we're going counterclockwise, so that means we're going up this way. We want to go all the way to 100. <coughs> And we just make a little mark there so we know where 100 is. Okay. Now we actually want to create our angle with our second ray. So we just line up the center of rotation with our mark. And you only have to go as far as this line right here. Okay, so you think we've gone far enough there? Yep. Does that look pretty good? It's okay to go a little bit further. You can go a lot further if you want, but anyway. Now here's where I like to use a compass to finish this off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make P the center of my circle, or the center of my arc, and I'm going to open my compass to the point I'm trying to rotate. And then I just want to draw that circular path until it intersects the other ray of my angle. Okay. Now what does that guarantee about this segment and this segment? They're equal. They're exactly equal. Okay. And that is the key to these rotations. So this point rotates over to here. I guess we could label the points so we know what we're talking about. Let's call this point A. That would make this one A prime. Okay. And now basically you just follow the same steps for all of the other points. Okay. So maybe I'll do this next one. I'll do it in highlighter orange so you can see the different steps. So step one is where it just gets repetitive. <laughs> Start your ray. Step two is to make your angle. <coughs> so we will use a protractor again. So we set the center, line it up with zero. We go around 100 degrees counterclockwise, make our point.
And then we make our second ray at least as long as this. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then number three, we make a circle. We're not making the whole circle, which is called an arc, but it's the same concept. So we set P as our center. We open up a new radius to our new point. And we draw that arc. And there, right there becomes our new point. So we'll call this B, and then this one would be B prime. Okay, so you kind of get in the hang of it. So now we might want to rotate this point right here. So we just follow these three steps, ray, angle, circle. So here's my ray. Now if you notice, this ray, we'll call this point C. So ray PC and ray PA, they're the same ray, correct? So what do you think about when we make our angle? <laughs> if we went 100 degrees, what do you notice? It's on, it's on the same line, so we just have to make our angle now a little bit longer so that we get where C goes. So sometimes you luck out and the angles are the same. And then we, well what would you do if you didn't have this to make a circle? Okay, we, so we have an alternate step that you could do. And the alternate step would just to be measure the segment, okay. or measure the radius of the circle, what it would be. So if, if you don't have your protractor with you, or your compass with you, you could just measure this. Okay. And you should see here that this is, what, five centimeters? So if PC equals 5 centimeters, how long would PC prime equal? 5 centimeters. So you could just measure PC prime out 5 centimeters, like so, and then put your point there. You guys see that yellow? Okay. It'll work. Okay. So you got that. So that's the alternate if you don't have your compass with you. But I, I like using the compass. It's fun to make circles. All right. And really, we could do what? One more point here. I like to do all the major vertices. You could do these points also. But we'll just go ahead and do one more point. So ray, angle, circle. It's not too bad to remember, huh? So ray, angle, and circle. So when you do these, really focus on the point so that doesn't move. If the lead part comes up, that's OK. So that would become D prime. Then you just uh, connect the segments so that it looks the same. So we want to connect A and B together. And we want to connect C and D together. Okay. 
And then you can see this just goes in the center, connecting the two. And there we go. So hopefully you can see that if I were to rotate this. It's okay. It kind of becomes the same thing there. All right, pretty cool.